Hello everybody. I'm excited to show you this project. Uh, I did it the other day as a response to an art professor art dare for April. Uh, I'm new to Art Professor. It's a, a website and a YouTube channel that I've really been enjoying the content for. I just started following them. As far as I can tell, it's all folk from RISD, uh, professors and teachers assistants, and they talk a lot more about aesthetic and um, meaning of art rather than a lot of the technique stuff that I get in other channels, which I also enjoy. Um, but this has been a really interesting new angle to look at things from, and I'll put a link in the description below so you can check it out if you're interested in it. Uh, this challenge was to represent home, and I think especially with everyone spending so much time at home during quarantine, knowing the mixed experiences that people are having, it was very relevant. Um, an additional challenge that they added on if you wanted to take it was to use household products and so they provided some options on their site various different things that you could use i wanted to use coffee and i wanted to draw my french press and a mug and a creamer that i use every single day um it's a very relaxing thing for me and so it's it's very representative of my my home existence these days um you'll see so starting out I had rendered. I didn't really block in my shapes, which meant that I started way too big and too high. I had to start over. But the second time here was the charm, and I was able to kind of block things in. It takes me time to get to shapes. I just don't do that much in the way of still lives. I, I generally hate doing symmetrical containers. It feels very fussy to me, and I'm kind of impatient. I like to wing it. Not to mention, like, 99% of my prep effort has gone into the figure, so I'm just not used to these. But eventually, I did get it looking basically the way that I wanted it to. Um, I wanted something welcoming and bright, simple, so that I wouldn't have to take too long at it. For one thing, I decided that the angle that I wanted was very low, so I was sitting at my coffee table, kneeling on a pillow on the floor, and it was really incredibly painful, and I had to take a lot of breaks in there. Um, it was... It was pretty rough, honestly, um, but I, I really did enjoy the process, and I definitely am glad that I went for the angle. Um, unfortunately, with the curtains there, uh, I didn't really take them into account properly, and so the angle looks a little bit strange with them. Um, I just, I had put them in while I was sort of resting as an afterthought, and of course, they, the angle doesn't quite work. But um, overall, it was a really fun process. I did all the light washes in coffee. I did all the darker areas with shadow uh, with balsamic vinegar because the coffee just didn't go dark enough for me. I really needed a darker shade. So the combination of those two actually worked really well. Now, I don't, I don't think it's going to last very long. The balsamic is actually still kind of shiny on there, even though it's dry. Like, I feel like that's going to be uh, flaking off in the near future. But as an exercise, it was really fun. I love limiting exercises where you get limited to just a few things, and then you, uh, you have to work within these very narrow parameters and still make something that, that makes sense. And I I really feel like I thrive under those conditions. You know, not everybody does, but I just enjoy it so much. Um, this was a really new, unique opportunity, not just because of the um, the materials, but also because I just don't do these still lives very often. And I'm really happy with how it came out. It's much simpler. There's a lot of detail in the cups that I didn't get. But overall, I'm so glad that I had this as a challenge, and I really enjoyed it. Um, and I feel like there are some things that I really captured in there that I enjoy hugely, like these shadows at the front that, where you can see them coming through the window um, and some of the reflective surfaces. So it was a super fun challenge. I really enjoyed it. Um, definitely go check these guys out if you're interested in things like that. I can't wait to talk to you again. I'll see you next Saturday.